back to another episode of Last Last Knows Mama's Vlog. Guadalajara, guys. Guadalajara, Guadalajara. Yeah, look at my. I just got this one. Look, I got the merch. The food here, where we came to a Charros game, and the food here is otro pedo. No, but seriously, that they have so many antojitos. It's great. You cannot go wrong with the music. Like the music that they're playing, it's freaking cool. Like they're playing rock in español. They're playing a little bit of reggaeton, some banda. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna get something. We're gonna get unas flautas right here. This place right here. Porque no he comido nada. Okay, bye. Look at this. ¿Qué me está pasando? ¿Cómo sé? Desanimado, triste. Yo pienso que es depresión. A la francesa. ¿Qué es eso? What's that green stuff? Cilantro sauce. Cilantro sauce? ¿Y qué más? Hot sauce? Hot sauce?
The next day. What's up, guys? We are at the Akron Stadium. Ahorita están haciendo el himno nacional. We just got here to the stadium. We're just waiting for one of my uncles to give us our tickets, and then we will be inside. No, ya empezó, no? No, 905. 905? Las 9 con 1. Oh, but they're doing the himno nacional right now, and we're starting. It's huge. It's huge. Hey, ya empezaron. There's a lot to do if you come early. There's a lot of little puestitos, so come early and enjoy it. Yep, so we'll catch you guys in the inside. <laughs> the charros game, the baseball, game, the baseball game. game. Unfortunately, we lost really bad. Yes, we we were playing out in the field. What's the final score? No sé, unos 15 a 5. Por ahí. Yeah, that's bad, guys. Venimos para verlos perder. Más que no vimos energía. I know, but but we'll talk about this in the second. Well, we're gonna tell you guys about our experience yesterday at the charros game, and let me tell you guys. Otra cosa. Fue otro. <laughs> no, it seriously was. It was such a good time. Starting with, um, starting with our first impression. So we once we got dropped off, we because we took an Uber there. Um, once we got dropped off, what like what did you think about the stadium? Simple. It was simple to get in and out. Yeah, it was simple to get in and out. But what did you think about like the stadium? Um, it's kind of weird because you enter from the back. Yeah, like usually you enter from like the like there's like a main like gate. Like different gates. Yeah, like at the like at the Dodger Stadium, como es? Like you come in. There's different the gates. On this one, there was only like one, and you enter from the back of the stadium, and then you basically go around. Yeah. To your spots. And then to the main entrance, and the main entrance isn't. It's not like wow, unless if there was another entrance that we missed, but. That was pretty much it but like once you go in there like i was seriously impressed with how big it was because we have our local in San Bruno, our local 66ers and it's pretty small the quake i think it's the same size it's just because it's like longer higher up higher like there's more space on the top uh -huh. i i feel like it was really big um también estaba... like oh we've been to the quakes too so compared to the quakes i feel like that stadium was rather big mm -hmm. and then next thing Pero la antes comida. de hablar de la comida, no vaya a pasar como nosotros. Uh, we don't know why at the stadium they want you to get a little baseball card, no se crean, a rechargeable card with money. 
So it costs you 30 pesos. And Which then, is like what? How many dollars? Uh, I think like one knows one dollars, like, like, like two dollars. Yeah, like around two dollars. You have to pay but for then, this little card. Yeah, and then you just recharge it, and you recharge how much amount you want. And I just seen today um, that you don't have to ask anybody because people is the the ones that recharge the car for you. But now you could do it through the phone when you do the app. You download the app, and you just recharge it with your phone and the app onto the card so for you guys don't feel weird like us because the first thing they ask like you have your card and we're like giving them a full credit card and they were like no you need a card can you explain to them and it would this seem kind of iffy to me right because like why do i need to buy a card when i have my own bank card but that's how they just do it there um and even when you get there if you want to find out how much money you have you give it give it to them and then they tell you oh you have this much amount of money okay and yes ahora sigue la comida no yeah no but just to add to that every time that you go pay siempre te dicen oh you have this much left which is great that we don't have to be lucky in or like how much maybe on the app you'll be able to see but yeah but the food okay starting with the food my favorite thing was well the only thing that i actually bought for myself for me to eat was wow. the you made me like the baby <laughs> one <laughs> no we did i think we were fair with the food I, I i would have wanted to eat a little bit more but i'm like i'm trying to be healthy here um thank you oh, well, yes you're thank you my the microphone oh my bad oh shit Okay, so, so okay. I get the Nyan. I'm you guys saw it in the vlog. The Nyan was at Albacito con la con las con las flautitas. Uh -huh. que una se demasiado. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm, I'm gonna you guys saw it there que se me cayó el primero, pero pues ya que I, I, I enjoyed it. But like your papa, how was your papa? Mm, I don't think it we... wasn't that great to be honest. I felt like it was missing. I think they use a lot of pimenta over here or like a salt with lemon so it kind of threw it off yeah I mean it wasn't too bad everything was it. like um, almost I think every food we had it was about 10 to 5 dollars at least yeah and it wasn't bad I mean of course it's it's here in Mexico so everything's gonna be a little bit cheaper um, what was another thing but uh, it wasn't anything that you tried but I got a crepa the, the crepa it was really simple nomás era Nutella y nomás no más, no, no más Nutella, pero, you know, I would have liked for it to be más preparada con fruta y, you know, all that good stuff. Yeah, she wanted like a full, yes! of course, uh, breakfast meal. That's something that did disappoint me. ¿Qué más comimos? Oh, you got your papas. I don't, I know we didn't talk about it in the vlog, but you guys saw in the vlog that he got some french fries. How were your papas? Uh, like I said, they use a uh, lemon salt, I feel. Like yeah. It was in my style. Pura papa comiste ayer? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had a pizza from Little Caesars. Oh, it Little Caesars okay pizza. Too. Yeah. And the interesting thing, guys, that, that I just thought it was so unique compared to everything out there was, of course, the food. Like, the food, there was había tanta variedad that I'm not really used to. And there was some girls in the back. I don't know if it's the es común that if you want something, you just shout it out. So some girls wanted beer, so they're just like, chelas, chelas. And la, la, los mismos vendedores contactan al, you know, whoever is selling the chelas person. yeah the person que está vendiendo las chelas and they communicate with each other and they're like oh you know this person over here wants to buy something to drink is señora quiñones back there yes. <laughs> ma diga hi <laughs> well um, back there. okay if we can round it up because you guys are gonna see the food mm -hmm. hopefully in the blog you saw all the foods that are interesting and they have how much amount of money do you think do they need for food and they leave us inside the state good question that would be a question for you to answer because <laughs> you guys, I don't like, I don't know why. So bien, Lela. Anytime that we come to Mexico, I'm like, you take care of the money. I don't know how much we spend. I'm just like, whatever, whatever, whenever is that we go, he's the one that's always pagando la cuenta. Say the amount of money that you need to like be okay for two people, eat what you want and drink what you want, around 60 to a hundred dollars, depending 200? how much you consume. But yeah. that's not a lot to compare over there because with oh, two yeah. beers, you're already spending $60 over there. Last but not least, I mean, everything was just, I felt like it was amazing. It was good for being a Wednesday. Yeah, for it being a Wednesday, cuando llegamos, I pretty, I, I, I don't know if you saw, if you guys saw in the vlog, you know, I was doing like a little a panoramic view of the stadium. And pues no sabe, like the everything was pretty much empty, pero ya después, like after maybe like the third, second, third inning, ya fue, empezaron a, a llegar gente. And I was just talking to my uncle right now, and he said that people que aquí, at least 
you know, where, where we're at right now. Entran tarde y salen tarde. So maybe that explains why, because the game started at what time? 7.30? Yeah. So people were probably just barely getting out of work, and then they headed to the stadium. So el ambiente, let me tell you guys, it's completely different. Compared to the baseball games, again, that I've gone to, right here, like there's, they're constantly playing music, different type of music, and you have the baseball with you? You guys, we have a story about this freaking ball. So we were trying, of course, we always try to catch a ball. Even when, we're, even when we go to the games out there, we never catch a ball. But this fella right here. It was meant to be. It really was meant to be because le legit, okay? He lit, the ball just came to us, it jumped on the side, and he didn't even, he probably didn't even look to the side. He just did this and he caught it. I stole it from somebody. <laughs> the other person was literally like this, like, oh, it's coming to me. But just as soon as it came here, like I just went my hand and grabbed it and he's still like, oh, what the heck? Like he got it, not even trying. And yeah, I stole it away. No, you didn't steal it. It's a free for all. Yeah, well, but yeah, when but that ball's was, coming, it's a free for all. But I felt like that guy was already like. He's like, yeah, me va a tocar. Nope. Oh, me sorry. I had to take it. Yeah. Like, and I don't know if you guys can see, like it's kind of red from the, from the dirt. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's and so that, cool! You guys can see the picture when it says Liga Mexicana out there. You know, aside from the ball, going back to the ambiente, is playing live music. As soon as everybody was getting out, my cousin was telling me that he's gone to other game to another game before, y que también estaban tocando música en vivo. Yeah. And like you saw, you guys saw there había un, un grupito, and they were they tenían la tuba. And then when I saw that, I was like, whoa! I didn't yeah, think they were people, gonna do it. I really didn't. People stay still after the game yeah just to chill there. people were dancing and i think over here i mean i didn't try it but i think even after the game they still keep on selling alcohol so you stay there for a while who knows maybe another hour another two hours yeah i'm um, just there chilling and having a good time oh yeah and and we had to leave because the uber was getting a little bit expensive but maybe if we would have stayed a little bit long, later my cousin was saying that he went to go see the not the charros what's the other one the other team the Los mariachis, or? los mariachis, yeah, I think it's los mariachis. The players salieron y, y a convivir con la gente ahí. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty neat, but yeah, el ambiente was just completely different. So and another thing that you brought up, and probably this is, should have been at the beginning, but um, the Uber, Uber's not that expensive. It's mm -hmm. only, let's give you a comparison, 30 mm -hmm. minutes to 20 minutes from where we're at. It was only about $11 one way. And that was around five, and then coming back, it was more expensive, right? Because everybody needs one. It was thirteen dollars, so only two dollar difference. Yeah, so imagine that. Thirty dollars for a round trip. Mm -hmm. And Uber went over there. You're probably spending double the amount. Yeah, and I mean, I was. I know I said it. It was a little bit more expensive, but I mean, I guess we could have stayed longer, huh? Yeah, but the problem is like we don't know everything, oh, yeah. you know, so we don't know if there's That's still why. Uber drivers available, so we didn't want to risk it. Good point. It, oh, yeah, it good was, point. no matter what, it was already 11.30 by that, by that time when we came back home. Yeah. So, basically, we're comparing soccer with baseball. Soccer. And but... closing up um, soccer yes. experience. So, first and foremost, the stadium. It was huge and it's pretty like pretty we were sitting we sat all the way on the top and mm -hmm. we, we, we were able to pretty much just see everything of course it, we could say that it's almost like if you guys been to the Dodgers Stadium it's almost the same um, mm -hmm. style and uh, they build it underneath the um, the ground well lower to the ground mm -hmm. and then you know so every view where you go around the stadium Anywhere. it's a good view mm -hmm. so that was a plus Chavo Stadium was better service i think and better uh, yeah. food better service food too. better service the like like you like you guys heard like there was so much so we had so many good things to say about the mm -hmm. the charro stadium the service the food el ambiente mm -hmm. um in the chiva stadium the food was like very like they had corn dogs the yeah. chips they beer. have very minimal and it's more like you pay more money uh -huh. You pay more exactly. money for the, for the fanatic experience. Yes. If you in, if you enjoy soccer, you enjoy it too, right? But if you are a Chivista fan for sure, yeah, you're going to have probably a great time. But what we can say that the Charo Stadium, it just gave us everything in general. Yes. And for the price, 
like we say we probably will choose that one instead of going to Chivas again if we can make that hopefully yeah but like and you would choose that then? i would i would go to the chivas game again no go to a child Ch no, oh 100 percent, i would go okay. i think i would probably go to the chivas game again but maybe if it was like a like maybe like group. a final mm -hmm. like a final oh, con un grupo. Uh -huh. i mean we did go with the group but we had estábamos separados. yeah um but the thing is like, yeah but like a bigger crowd of family mm -hmm. yeah but the food was like eh. And then another thing. Yeah, estaba más cara la cerveza, guys. It was 150 pesos <laughs> instead of 100 pesos. So. Yeah. Y pura tecate. Yeah, I know for real. It tecate, and there was something else. It surprised me que pura Kinda tecate. Came. But because they're they promote. That's mm -hmm. what they only sell inside the city. Yeah, so no tenían mucha variedad de mm -hmm. something to snack on. So. And then another thing was el ambiente. Lo que sí puso el ambiente fue fueron 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 las porras. Uh -huh. Porque la gente se fueron fueron fueron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she enjoyed the porras. I love um, the porra, like almost just... like the BMO. I think that's the place that we first saw it. The BMO, yeah. LA, um, I was gonna say LA Galaxy. LA Galaxy. Now LAFC. I see la porra también. That was here in Chivas, and that something cool. that she enjoyed because of the porras was people on the buses even starting oh to do my gosh. to start doing el ambiente that was so freaking cool okay so then we'll start when we, when we were heading there so when we were heading there we, we saw two of the buses on this where that was pretty much filled with all of the porristas and they were literally like on top of the freaking uh of the bus they're they were like playing the drums mm -hmm. and like oh and la emoción my adrenaline i was like oh my gosh and then when they when we got there yeah pues ya se habían ya se habían metido ellos to pretty much set up or whatever, mm -hmm. and then you can just hear we were we, while we were waiting outside because we were waiting waiting for my uncle. Um, like you can just hear the drums and the people shouting, the crowds, and I was just telling my dad, I was like, oh, I'm not doing it. like oh, like the adrenaline, like do you feel that? Yeah. I'm like, are you are you feeling what I'm feeling right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think that's really it for Chiva. Overall, overall, I. But well, we would enjoyed it. They won and. Uh, our first soccer game here too so our first soccer game our first baseball game here all right well we wrap it up yep all right well we'll see you on our next vlog stay tuned Peace. for our for our other vlogs <laughs>